Coming up on Press This, it's all work and no play for us. While Matt's on vacation, we talk about WordPress debug bar plugins. That's right. We're going to be featuring some resources and comparisons for uh, beginning, beginner developers and advanced developers. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to another wonderful episode of Press This. I'm your host, Dan. And I'm Scott. You're not, you're not Matt. Oh, so, right. so, 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 so Matt's not here today. Uh, he's on vacation for the week. So um, what's happening today is we're going to take a little break. We've, if you've been following us, we've been talking a lot about WordPress frameworks, Genesis and things like that. Today, we're going to take a little bit more of a developer look at it and look at um, a couple plugins that are, can be helpful to both high-end, you know, professional developers and people just getting started out with PHP and web development. And um, WordPress development. WordPress well. development, I should say, yeah. And these are two debug bar plugins. Oh, so before I even get into that, what is this show? Uh, Press this is a look at, um, uh, we, we look at plugins or themes or frameworks, um, all things having to do with the WordPress system, uh, wordpress.org, to help you uh, improve your website. So um, what we're talking about today are debug bars, basically a way to as you're developing, kind of check on some errors, make sure everything's running smoothly, see what the page load looks like, mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, Scott, do you want to elaborate at all? or? Yeah. Um, basically, you can get advanced information or basic information mm -hmm. on the current SQL queries, uh, memory load, basically anything to do uh, with the current page that you're on, on both the front end and the back end cool. of WordPress. Yeah. Uh, and it really helps you debug your functions and you're able to, uh, you know, really optimize your code uh, according to some of this information that you're able to see. Awesome. And we're looking at two specific plugins today. Um, obviously, in one corner, we have the most popular one, uh, Debug Bar. Pretty simple. Uh, that's actually done by the folks at WordPress.org. Um, and that has 42,000 downloads, 4.9 out of 5 stars. Um, so, Scott, you're going to talk about that in a second. Mm -hmm. And it's going against Black Box Debug Bar. This comes from Gweg Winiarski, another fellow Polak. Got to love it. <laughs> um, and this has 5,000 downloads, but it also has a 4.9 out of 5. So maybe not a lot you can get wrong with Debug Bars, potentially, but it comes down to feature set, how it looks, visually how, it's, how you can kind of control your workflow. Obviously, workflow is a very important part of developing anything, Definitely. especially a website. Mm -hmm. So, Scott, why don't you take it away with some Debug Bar information? Yeah, so this plugin is created by WordPress org and some of their developers mm -hmm. uh, basically what it does is it adds a menu item to the admin bar mm -hmm. in WordPress uh, and you're able to click on that item and get some information uh, such as your server name current PHP version and mm -hmm. MySQL version mm -hmm. uh, how much RAM the current request took which mm -hmm. can be valuable for optimization mm -hmm. uh, object caching information some of the permalink structure and rewrite rule information and also when WP debug is enabled, uh, it's ca it will capture some of the errors or notices that may appear if you did, you know, have any of that in your code. Interesting, interesting. So, so one thing I will say from looking at it myself that was slightly impressive, slightly unimpressive maybe, is the visual workflow of the, of the guy. They do have a minimize bar on the top right of the, the plugin so that it's sort of like the inspect element on like a Google Chrome, um, just a nice little workspace where you have that lower window so you can see what's above, you can see what your website looks like and, and kind of deal with those errors accordingly. But I found it interesting that the main view uh, takes up the whole screen. So you click on the debug button at the top bar and it just kind of displays this screen. Yeah, I found that interesting as well. It's a little odd. Um, we'll talk about why that might be nice in a second with the sidebar stuff um, mm -hmm. when we talk about advanced features in a, in a moment. Um, but the one thing that uh, was nice about uh, the other guy, the black box debug bar, was that it was all done right from the top bar of your WordPress page or WordPress website. So the way that looks is you basically have your have your top bar. You have the the same kind of things on there. Your error tracking, you know, um, how fast it's loading, things like that. Um, it actually shows you on the top bar a list of the queries um, MySQL uh, put through. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and the other thing too is. Beyond that, from a visual perspective, they allow you the option to just toggle that on and off while you're developing. So you can kind of have it on and off and you can see the main functions of your, your top bar as opposed to these new functions. Mm -hmm. So this does replace the new the menu that you had for your top bar. 
So if you want to go back, for example, if you want to switch between front end and back end view, you actually have to uh, either toggle or close the top bar, which I guess is kind of a kind of an issue. Yeah, it could be sense. a little bit of a usability issue. It does overlay the admin bar, but I right. do find uh, the information is more useful in a, in this sense only know. because you get limited information, right. but you're able to see it right then and there without right. having to click on another panel. Right, and you can easily hide it and reveal it. Um, everything's kind of like nicely laid out too. Mm -hmm. um, the one thing I will say though, uh, from looking and working with them a little bit, was the debug bar I felt though it does take up a lot of the screen, I thought that some of the information was presented in a more um, easy to read kind of way. Yeah, so an elegant fashion. Yeah, a little out more elegant, um, you know, separating the cells with different colors, you know, um, inverse colors and whatnot, uh, versus where the uh, the other guy has a very, very development approach, just a black screen with a bunch of, with a bunch of code on it, and you're like, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. this is just what I want to be looking at right now. Um, mm -hmm. So... But one thing that is really nice, um, so these these plugins, if you are deciding between them or you're looking for a good debug plugin, I think they're both good. Yeah, um, I agree. I think that one of the advantages that Debug Bar has is that you can customize it and you can maximize it. You can add, you can extend um, with new other plugins. So do you want to elaborate on that at all? Or? Yeah, and I'm not sure about Black Box. It's yeah. quite possible that it could be Yeah, I'll look it up while you're, well. while you're, yeah. Um, but basically, uh, what WordPress.org did when they were developing the plugin mm -hmm. is add the ability uh, for custom plugin developers uh, to add their own well, add-ons, basically. Um, so I'm going to run through a few of these and just kind of sure. what they do. Sure. And um, this is where Dan talked about the full screen uh, view coming up. This is where uh, that view is particularly helpful right. because the sidebar can have a lot of information right. as well as the main view. Uh, so the first one I'll talk about is called Debug Bar Console. Uh, this is made by one of the WordPress uh, developers, Daryl Coopersmith. And um, basically what this allows you to do is run any PHP or SQL queries uh, right within the browser. So you're able to just kind of test a, a set of data in case you need to figure out what the output mm -hmm. or what you think the output should be versus what is shown uh, in the debug bar information. Sure. Uh, the second one I want to talk about is one that I actually use the most uh, when I'm developing here at the uh, Slocum Studio. Uh, it's debug bar post meta. And this one uh, will output any post meta that's associated with the current post. Um, this includes uh, plug-in post meta, like for instance, we were reviewing this and we saw some Yoast uh, meta mm -hmm. values in right. there, uh, and as well as WordPress meta mm -hmm. values that are usually hidden, but in case you wanted to review what they might look like and, and see what right. other plug-in developers are right. doing, uh, you do have that option. What is Google seeing on the ping, right? Basically like <laughs> some, some meta stuff and like, oh, okay, that's exactly what it's gonna look like from a code perspective. Yeah, the information in the mm -hmm. background. Uh, the next one I wanna talk about is debug bar transients. Basically, this just shows you um, some of the transients that are set in WordPress. And transients are just a way to store cache data temporarily. These can be custom WordPress, uh, custom transients as well as WordPress core transients. Mm -hmm. uh, and they do expire after a set amount of time. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is in actions and filters mm -hmm. uh, add-on to debug bar. Basically, this displays all of the actions, or the hooks rather, uh, which include actions and filters for the current request. Mm -hmm. uh, and you're able to go through, especially for the filters, you're able to see what functions mm -hmm. are being called when. It sure. even shows their priority and whatnot. So you can really fine tune your workflow and again, that optimization uh, of your development. Uh, the next one I want to talk about is debug bar cron. Yep. This will show yeah. the uh, scheduled events in WordPress, whether you custom created a, a, a custom event, um, a, a cron job as they're called, or uh, it's WordPress core uh, scheduled events. This mm -hmm. will show them. It'll actually show you the next time that they're going to execute and whether or not a current cron is executing at, at this time. Sure. Uh, and the last one I want to talk about is I feel it's a little bit more advanced uh, debug bar extender. This one actually comes with its own options panel, so you can configure the way that the plugin outputs its data. Uh, and, and this will display even more advanced data on uh, the particular page, f such as variables, yep. Um, yep. queries, more in-depth query information, right. stuff like that. So I think the bottom line here is that these are both effective plugins for basic development. Um, I think that if personally, and you can agree or disagree with me on this one, I think that if you're just getting started with development, as I myself am getting started with WordPress and development and stuff like that, I think that the black box one just gives you a nice, really simple 
easy, some A-B testing. Okay, this one loads faster. I totally kinda, agree Kind of testing stuff. But I think that because of the popularity of the um, the debug bar plugin by WordPress, um, and because probably because of that too, the number of extensions that are available to it, it becomes a more handy tool for um, high-end um, like lead developers like yourself who are... Um, and necessitate all the different function functionality. Yeah, I definitely agree with that. Uh, Black box is very uh, simple to use, especially for somebody starting out, uh, such yeah. as yourself. Uh, and WordPress, the debug bar is simple as well, but right. can be extended, as you right. said, to include that more advanced information. Mm -hmm. so, are there any Are there any resources people can go to if they are learning to, with with regards to this sort of debug bar stuff? Or yeah, actually, I have a resource here. Uh, it's from oh, the WordPress you? Codex. <laughs> yes, I do. Um, and it's debugging in WordPress. And this is a, a good resource for developers just starting out, or even more advanced developers. Right. Uh, you can go through and see some of the uh, variables that you can define uh, and flags that you can define, such as WP debug. Um, save queries and, and there's more mm -hmm. uh, and you're able to go ahead and uh, really you know e enhance these plugins even more by showing mm -hmm. a little bit more information right. and also uh, in, and it will display uh, any errors uh, WP debug for instance will display any errors or notices that you have uh, with any of your code so you may have missed something during right. development you want to enable that just to make sure that no, no, no notices or errors appear that's great. That's great, Scott. So I hope you folks found this helpful today. Um, if you guys have any questions on this or you didn't find it helpful or you want us to look at another plugin uh, for WordPress, another theme, another framework, please let us know in the comments below. Um, please do subscribe to us. We're working towards 5,000 subscribers. So, so subscribe to our YouTube channel, Slocum Studio. Additionally, if you want to look at some great blog content, you can subscribe to our blog, slocumstudio.com slash subscribe. Uh, Scott, thank you so much for filling in today. You did a more than wonderful job. Thanks for having me, Dan. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks a lot, guys. guys.